Hi. <laughs> Hello, ladies, gents, and mad echoes of the machine ghost. Today we're doing something completely different. We're going to go into an alternate reality, into Blargo's Vengeance. I have had this game running for a long, long time. It is my game that I started as a test of does this group of people is uh, is it a fun and good group of people and they have been working on the arco nexus they have finally there's a giant quest line that is a massive pain in the ass and they are going to finally achieve it they have found the arco nexus where they will meld with the machine god question mark i have never done it and i'm like i'm going why not let's let's record it we have our group of misfits in this enormous underground facility. Absolutely glorious existence here. It has been a grand old time. This is the third colony of this playthrough because that's how the Arconexus works. You go into a place, you study the damn thing, and then you start anew. You have to do it twice. This is the third one. And now we're going to finally create... What do you mean split? Oh, I already did it. I already did it. That's right. I wanted to have the caravan all done and out of the place on the way to the Arco Nexus while, uh, like, before I started the, the recording. Because I was like, this is like a once in a lifetime event. I'm never going to do this again. The Arco Nexus quest is such a pain in the ass that I, will, I don't want to do it twice. So let's record it and see how it goes. Let's uh, look at the group of people while while we do it let me uh it, it does get a little wonky when people are traveling on the on the road when the colony is completely empty we have t rose who was the leader for a little while but their kid their child their daughter valeria has taken over since then she is i think now 18 years old this has been going on for a long long time where are you? Where are you, Valeria? You are... Like, she is super enhanced. She is the most crazy powerful character I've ever had. A pretty fast worker, careful shooter. The only thing that could make her better would be if she were a vampire. But I managed to get the Deathless Gene in a, just an archite... Uh, just an archite uh, thingamabob uh, capsule. And Blargo got the chosen genes. I was able to engineer like the best possible genes ever without having to be an actual freaking vampire. So like there's some some crazy stories that have happened throughout this entire playthrough. T Rose saved Blargo's life at the very beginning. There was this horrible ancient danger blargo went down tiros went in there like she crawled on top of him it's like i've seen him do this so many times patched him up even though she had no idea about medical saved his life dragged him out of there while the enemies were still aw awakened and managed to shoot the last one down she saved the colony so hard it will it will always forever stay in my rim world memory Poor Valeria has lost two children to one of them got hunted by a freaking fox. There's been a few stillborns, even though the quality of the hospital is enormous. I had a 95% chance of a healthy birth. Stillborn. Twice in a row. <laughs> so I don't know what the hell that... I was like, am I doing something wrong? What's going on here? Her kid, current kid, is Delilah. She is with Girthmaster. And, uh, you know, they're, they're just being happy, good time self-enhancers throughout this entire ordeal they have been just you know hanging out creating underground bases and finally the arco nexus is about to happen i am so looking forward to being disappointed because every other ending in this game has been a real disappointment if there's something where if there's a place where rimworld drops the, drops the ball like it's made of lead is the endings it's just a super anticlimactic non-battle that is super easy or you know it's not that much of a wow that's pretty cool uh it's not that much of a challenge and then it gives you a a text screen and then and that's the end <laughs> it's so anticlimactic it's just crazy 
Hopefully this one won't be the same. Let's check out this Arco Nexus. What am I even supposed to do? Arco Nexus score, and it has like something to interact with. Invoke power, if you do it with somebody. All right. I see some mechs, are they alive? Seem to be awakened. Do we need to fight them? I assume we need to fight them. Well, everybody drafted and let's get information. I guess there's not much to do. Like it's not much I, I can do to defend other than just line up. And uh, we do have all my mechs. Let's get them to escort. We're going to draft them, put them in a line to dissuade the the close encounter type of mechs to from coming. We have completely trivial militor here. We got another militor. This is the centipede burner. He can destroy me. Did I bring any shields? Let's see. I don't think I have any shields with me. Any uh, one of those shields that you, you put on. I think this burn it. We need to Oh yeah, that's right. I made the lie line to the vampire. <laughs> Sangwolf H came around, and she absorbed the freaking uh, because I thought it was funny. It will be like the uh, Chloe Grace Moretz in the let the right one in. She has that creepy vibe now. Anyway, we need to attack this immediately. But do I feel? I think that the Scythers need to instantly go over there and attack this. Oh, they're asleep. They're asleep, I did not realize that. They they were standing, but it's just because I had just showed up. All right, all right. So if they're asleep, do I get to fight them? Probably if I say, tell Blarko to go and invoke the power, probably there will be like a progress bar and it will awaken every single freaking, every single damn mechanoid. So let's just find ourselves a nice fighting position. Probably just here. Here we're good. Everybody go down. Hopefully they won't wake up anytime anytime soon until I attack. Get ourselves this nice little bit of uh, of cover. Surrounded by anima trees. Is that a Dark Souls bit of lore where it's telling me, hey, the anima trees and the Archon Nexus are really connected. They're one and the same or something like that. I would not be surprised if that were the case. Anyway, this is like the perfect place. To do battle, we're just going to hide behind this rock. And Flesh Ripper can come out here. Deadlift, which is the son of Tiros and Blargo. He is like the little, uh, the, the redheaded th stepchild. Tough, kind and brawler. And he is the future kin because he also is deathless. Anyway. Put the those melee fighters on the front. Animal Ranger, alright, there you go. And uh, these guys will just shoot the crap out of whoever comes around the corner. No, I just want you to move. Move there. Delilah, you probably should go in the back. I don't want you to get shot and dead, uh, get killed. And now what I'll do, I'll just send the Scythers to attack this piece of trash. Oh boy, everything woke up, huh? All right. I mean, with the centipede otherwise occupied... Probably we should actually line up a nice line of fire right here. And then you're still making sure that people come around the corner. Yeah, that's pretty good. And, and these guys will cover the rear. Or maybe even get in the front. The scythers take all the fire like it's absolutely nothing. Because they are completely immune. Looking pretty great. Oh, by the way, Valeria should... Oh, it's on, it's on cooldown. Maybe even do a chunk skip right here so we have a little bit of cover. There you go. Don't know if it's worth it or not, but... Weird Monk go back a little bit. We do have some Psychic Glances. Man, that's a lot of... A lot of hits that they're taking. But thankfully... We should be fine. Is it dead? Or what's gonna... Why do they keep attacking each other? I don't know. One of the Scythers is down. This is a bit of a problem right there. <laughs> I mean, I do have a few psychic lances. Okay, Scythers, go over there. 
let's take a look at what's left. We have a Tesseron. The Tesserons are annoying because they set everything on fire. Mm. Actually, probably now that it, there's no longer any more fire breathers. We can get the Scythers way back here. And we will provoke the attacks of these morons. This filthy mechanoid trash. Okay, they're back there. It's all right. They did their job. They're just filthy. What's happening? Oh, they're attacking my animals. That's too bad. That's just too bad. Hopefully, I will not need these animals. The Mega Slug, for some reason, I brought him. I have no reason to bring him in. <laughs> all right, here comes the Lancer. They're all going to get absolutely destroyed. As they... Oh! How dare you. How dare you attack my Scytha. Move them over here so the military comes around the corner. Are you attacking Deathlift now? Pow, 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 pow! Bring down that Tesseron before he attacks. All right, good stuff. All right. I think we're pretty much covered. Do a whole bunch of damage to these guys. We're, we're pretty much victorious. Valyria take position and absolutely obliterate... There's really no reason to use any of my tools, honestly. Everybody. Attack. There you go. We're done. Area is now safe. <laughs> the entire anima tree, pile of anima trees, is just getting absolutely obliterated. All right, well, there's no more enemies. Let's all get close to the... I mean... Did people get actually damaged, or it's not really that big a deal? He's fine. What? Fleeing fire, Delilah, because of the, all the rampine fire. She is a vampire, so she uh, does not like it. Nobody really is bleeding, with the exception of Turncoat Trash, because, you know, I named him that way because I. Um, he was an Empire fellow, and. I captured him, and I took out his legs, and his lung, and his kidney, and then I realized, you know what, turn cow trash, I'm going to induct you into my colony because you're actually really good and steadfast, and I gave him back his organs, and now he is, he just works for me. All right, well, moment of truth, let's see what happens, I expect some kind of progress bar here, Blargo, do the honors. You are the OG. You have been working so hard. He is now, because of all the age reversal, he's, he would be probably like 70 now, but I, uh, he's done through, gone through a lot of age reversal. Look at the, the insane stats on this fella. That is absolutely insane. <laughs> the amount of things that he can do. Anyway, let's do this before the horrible things happen. Horrible mood debuffs happen. All right. Uh, it's another wall text. <laughs> You've invoked the Archonexus core. The world fills with a blinding light and time seems to slow. These colonies have transcended. Flesh Ripper. T Rose. Valeria. Weird Monk. Complete Psycho. Turncoat Trash. Animal Rancher. Delilah. Blargo. Girth Master. And Death Knight. Ma the machine god has noticed you. Noticed you? Nobody can predict what happened next. It may destroy you or communicate with you directly or transport your consciousness to another plane of reality. You sense a vast inhuman structure of infinite fractal complexity flowing into your mind. Time and scale begin to dissolve. It's terrifying. It's beautiful. Rimworld once more drops the ball with the ending. I understand it's like the entire point is the journey. There was so much stuff happening in this playthrough. So many moments where it's like, oh, that was pretty cool. Almost lost it at the very beginning. And since the very beginning, there wasn't any point that I was like super in danger. But uh, there has been a lot of events and I really enjoyed it. But anyway, that's... The Archonexus ending that I will never pursue again because it's such a giant, massive pain in the ass. But hey, if you don't want to do it yourself, now you know what happens. 
and uh, I don't regret it because it was an awesome RimWorld experience. Just playing RimWorld itself is always a treat. The ending is just whatever, you know, it's just when you're ready to move on to the next playthrough, that's pretty much it. That being said, they really could put a little bit more work in the ending. They really could. <laughs> it's, it's so anticlimactic the way that that ended, but hey, I loved it. I love playing through it. RimWorld is top five best games ever made. I will continue saying that all the way to my freaking grave. See you next time with our regularly programmed Pit of Despair.